The DS was a portable handheld console that dominated the market from 2004 to 2009 before being usurped by the 3DS. This is the part where it turns you on. <laughs> now who the bitch? bitch? Daddy gonna wanna play rough now. Hey, let me show you this. Ah! 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 There were so many great games that came out for the platform, like Scribblenauts or eight different Shrek games, or the whole host of educational experiences and crossword puzzle adjacent games like Picross. The DS is great, and after wanting to take a trip back to elementary school before the crushing way of the world took its toll, I soon realized a few things. One, emulation is sketchy, and I didn't want to go through the headache and get a virus over it. Two, if you look online, DS games are either really expensive and in mint condition, or are really cheap and probably covered in soda with someone else's name written on them. This is when good old Jeff lets you in on the secret market of bootleg Nintendo products that are all over Amazon. Yeah, you got your little Namco arcade collection with like 12 or 25 games. Yeah, get that shit out of here. We got 300 games. Oh, oh, you don't, you don't like 300? We got 520 games. Or Amazon's Choice 208 and 482 coming out to a grand total of 690, yes sir, 69, I cannot make this shit up, games in one. Of course I went with the 690, not only because it had the most games, but also because the 520 said it was for the PSP, and the artwork for the 301 makes my eyes bleed. You motherfucking failure! Well, there are in fact 690 games, and probably more. There aren't 690 DS games. Between duplicates and piles and piles of mid, you get about 25 to 45 good games, which is still a deal for the price. There are also what feels like thousands of old arcade games, as well as a selection from the NES, SNES, Game Boy Advance, and Color, as well as a few other pre-90s consoles. I haven't played all 690 games on it, but the handful of games from each platform I had played ran smooth and I didn't run into the issues with freezing or crashing. The only real issue I do have is with the cart itself and the fact that it kind of doesn't really fit into my DS, but that just could be my model of DS, but I think it's more likely the sketchy SD card to DS cart. Also, while talking about the cart, some of the reviews talk about the micro SD card and how it breaks really easily. And there's one real simple life hack, and that's just to get a micro SD card to SD card or just a micro SD card reader and back up the files on your computer, which was the first thing I did before even trying it out. Sometimes I also had an issue with it not reading, but if I just took it out and put it back in a couple of times, it usually fixed that. So if you're looking to scratch that early 2000s handheld gaming itch, I mean, it's a nice $20 gamble. And it is a gamble. You can see in a lot of the reviews that sometimes it just doesn't work when you get it, and there isn't really a good refund plan for bootlegs. But if Bezoboof is smiling down upon you and you get a full 690 games in one, it's honestly not bad for $20. While there are piles and piles and piles of mid, that 35 to 45 good games is definitely a lot cheaper than buying it in carts. Even a cheap cart is still like a dollar to five dollars a piece. All the essentials are there. You get the Pokemon, you get the Mario, the Zelda. I was wondering if there were even 690 games released for the DS. So whenever I saw that there's the multiple platforms with the Game Boy and the SNES and the NES and the arcade, it was a nice little surprise. I know this video is a bit different from my other videos, but if you liked it, let me know down below. And if you want to see more gaming related content, also let me know. I've been thinking about doing videos over games like Max Payne and GTA 4. Also, go ahead and check out the podcast I do with Arne King called Penny for Your Thoughts. Episode 1's out now, and I think by the time this is posted, episode 2 should be out as well. Anyway, until next time. Later. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, biatch.